So VMware is one of the large tech companies that focus on this thing called virtualization. If you ever work for a company that has servers, that has virtual servers, they're probably gonna have one of two, maybe one of three different sorts of virtualization technologies. One being VMware, the others being Microsoft Hyper-V and potentially Citrix. And there's others, there's Oracle and there's some others out there as well. But VMware is the leader. It's the one that is the biggest and they are the ones that a lot of companies are using. Now you do have a lot of people now moving a lot more towards the cloud, but VMware is still one of those big ones and you need to know a little bit more about VMware. So we're just defining two things. We've got uh, vCenter and we've got ESXi. What are the differences between the two? I know that I had this question. I mean, I've got VMware, but what is vCenter? What's ESXi? I really didn't understand the differences. So we're going to just give you a little bit of a snapshot overview on what they are. This is YouTube. You're watching this on the interwebs. We've got comments. Why don't you leave us a comment? Let us know whether you've used VMware, whether you've used VMware. What is your virtualization of choice? Is it Hyper-V? Is it Oracle? Is it something different? Let us know down below. And also you're probably not subscribed. So subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And you will too, because you'll keep up to date with a lot of stuff that's going on in tech. So let's firstly talk about VMware. Well, VMware is a big mammoth company that does a lot of stuff. One of their big things is virtualization, essentially letting you build computers, letting you build servers, but virtual versions of those computers and those servers. In the olden days, you'd get yourself a laptop or a desktop, you'd install Windows 10, Windows 11 onto it. You get yourself a server, you'd install Windows Server onto it. People don't really install physical servers with just Windows Server, unless they really want something specific or dedicated or it's like a mainframe. Otherwise, it's gonna be generally some sort of hypervisor technology, in this case being VMware. So they're gonna be installing an operating system onto a computer or onto a server. But instead of installing Windows, you're gonna install ESXi. And this is where the operating system of VMware comes into place. ESXi is essentially the operating system by VMware, it's called a hypervisor, and you're installing that, and then that computer becomes a hypervisor, becomes a server that is ready for you to go and build a whole bunch of VMs, and it's running the operating system ESXi by VMware. Great, that is what ESXi does. Now you can then go and connect to this ESXi server that you've just built, or this ESXi host. You go to your smartphone, you can go to another computer, you can go to another server, type in the IP address of that ESXi host, Log in, you log in through the vSphere web client, and then you can start building VMs, and that's great. You then go and you build yourself another ESXi host, because sometimes it's better to have more than one, because that's the whole point about virtualization, is how you can now have a pool of physical computers, each of those with VMware ESXi, each of those could have maybe 10, maybe 20 VMs running on them of different functions and different flavors of all these operating systems. One of those is gonna be running vCenter. It's gonna be a vCenter VM. What vCenter now lets you do is it lets you connect all those ESXi hosts together and manage them within vCenter itself. Now, the annoying thing is if you don't have vCenter and you need to manage the VMs on these ESXi hosts and you gotta go through each ESXi host, log into it, and then manage the VMs that are on it. Go and build them, go and add more RAM, resources, all of that, each individual ESXi. And they're not really connected to each other. Each ESXi host doesn't know about each other. So if I've got a VM running on one of my ESXi hosts, maybe it's a file server. If that ESXi host has a problem, that's it. That file server and any other VM that's running on that ESXi host will go down. So with vCenter, you install vCenter, and then you essentially add all of those ESXi hosts into the vCenter server. You create a high availability cluster. And all of the ESXi hosts are all knowing about each other. And if one host goes down with those VMs, another host will go, ah, oh, this host has gone down. I'll take those VMs and I'll have them running on my host. Now you can go into a lot more detail about what vCenter can do because it can do a heck of a lot more. And if you wanna learn a lot more, by the way, about ESXi and about vCenter, uh, I've got a whole bunch of training courses. I've got a huge one all on VMware. Heaps of people have found it super, super helpful. So ESXi, 
vCenter done. Again, remember, if you are not subscribed, please do yourself and myself a favor by subscribing. Would really appreciate it and uh, also would love the support as well. So thanks so much for spending the time. We will see you next time. See ya.